Hello and welcome grade 10s. Many real life problems can be solved using linear equations and especially simultaneous linear equations. We will start today's lesson by joining Amashni who is helping a taxi driver and she will be using simultaneous linear equations to do it. Let's join her now. A taxi business in Johannesburg charges 3 rand for a single trip into town and 5 rand for a double trip. We spoke to a taxi driver after a busy day to see how much money he made. He told us he had 161 passengers that day and that he had made 671 rands. The business needs to plan for the rest of the month but has not kept records of how many passengers paid for a single trip and how many paid for a double trip. Let's see if we can help them. Let's first write down what information is given. The total money collected for the day was 671 rands. The total number of passengers was 161. A single trip cost 3 rand. A double trip costs 5 rand. We must find the number of passengers who paid for a single trip. What are the unknown values? Remember, we're looking for the number of single trip passengers. So let's assign a letter symbol to this. We'll call the number of single trip passengers S. What is the other unknown number? We don't know the number of passengers that pay for a double trip. So let's call this D. Now we can set up equations to solve. Look again at the information. What equations can we make? We know that the total number of passengers is 161. So we can write S plus D is equal to 161 as our first equation. What other information can we use? We know that the total amount of money that he made for the day was 671 rands. Let's set up a word sentence to show this. The total amount is equal to the amount paid by all the single trip passengers plus the amount paid by all the double trip passengers. Now, how much did the single trip passengers pay? We know that a single trip costs 3 rand multiplied by the number of single trip passengers which we know was S. So the amount paid by single trip passengers is 3S. Now what about the double trip passengers? If D is the number of double trip passengers and they paid 5 Rand for each trip then the amount paid by the double trip passengers is equal to 5 times D. We know that the total is 671 Rand, so we can write our second equation as 671 is equal to 3 multiplied by S plus 5 times D. And this is our second equation. Now the rest is easy. We just solve the simultaneous equations that we set up. Now you could use elimination or substitution. In equation 1, we have a coefficient of 1 for S and D. So solving for either unknown in this equation is simple. So I will use substitution. From equation 1, we get that S is equal to 161 minus D. And I'll call this equation 3. So we can substitute equation 3 into equation 2. We get 671 is equal to 3 multiplied by 161 minus D plus 5D. When we multiply out, we get 671 is equal to 483 minus 3D plus 5D. Great, we have an equation in one unknown. That's easy to solve. 
we get 671 minus 483, which is equal to 2D. 671 minus 483 is 188, which is equal to 2D. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, we get 94 is equal to D. What did this number mean? Well, 94 passengers paid for a double trip. So what's next? Remember, the question asked us how many passengers paid for a single trip. So let's substitute our value for D into one of the other equations. Let's use equation 3. We get that S is equal to 161 minus the value of D, which is 94, and this simplifies to 67. So what does this mean? 67 passengers paid for a single trip. Remember, we still need to check our answer. So we can see that our calculations were correct. So you see, solving word problems by using simultaneous equations can be very helpful in everyday life. Next, Omashni helps Miss Gallagher keep track of the money she makes. This is Miss Gallagher, a shopkeeper from the corner Spaza. Let's see what she's up to. She seems to have had a busy day. At the end of the day, Miss Gallagher had 200 banknotes in the cash register. It was a mixture of 50 rand and 20 rand notes, but she had not counted them separately. In total, the register showed that she had 7,630 rand. Each day, she has to record the exact number of 50 rand notes and the exact number of 20 rand notes that she has in the system. She really doesn't want to have to count them out. Can you work out how many of each type of note she has? Let's first make sure we write down what we know about this problem and what it is we want to find out. The total number of notes is 200. Remember that this includes both 50 Rand and 20 Rand notes. The total value of the notes is 7,630. We don't know the number of 50 Rand or 20 Rand notes, so we'll use letters to represent these unknowns. Let's say the number of 50 Rand notes is X and the number of 20 Rand notes is Y. Can you write an equation using this information? Have another look at everything we know. The number of 50 Rand notes plus the number of 20 Rand notes is equal to 200. So we write this as x plus y is equal to 200. And we'll call this equation 1. Can we find a way of writing down the total value of all the 50 Rand notes together? Think about it. If there are 5 50 Rand notes, the total is 250 Rands. If there are 10 notes, the total is 500 Rands. So, we multiply the number of notes by 50. This means that we take the number of 50 Rand notes and multiply it by the value of the note, which is 50 in this case. So we have a total value of 50 times x. For the value of all the 20 Rand notes, we multiply the number of notes by the value. So we have y times 20 or 20y. Can you write an equation using 50x and 20y? That's not difficult since we know that the total amount of money is 7630. So we can write this equation as 50x plus 20y is equal to 7630 and we'll call this equation 2. Hey, what do you know? We have two equations with two variables. So what's our plan? We can solve them simultaneously. Again, you can choose to use any method. I've decided to use the elimination method. The equations are simplified, but I can see that I won't be able to just add or subtract these columns here. What shall we do? Do you see that I can multiply equation 1 by 20? This will make sure that I have 20 as a coefficient in both the equations. 
I'll call this new equation equation 3. So I want to multiply equation 1 by 20. I get 20x plus 20y is equal to 4000. That is equation 3. That's better now. We have 20 as the coefficient of y in both equations 2 and 3. Now I can subtract this new equation from equation 2. Remember we need to change the signs. So this becomes minus 20x. 50 minus 20x gives me 30x. 20y minus 20y gives me 0 is equal to 7630 minus 4000 which gives me 3630. So to solve for x we need to divide both sides by 30 and I get x is equal to 121. Remember, x was the number of 50 rand notes. So we have 121 50 rand notes. Now, we can find the number of 20 rand notes, the y value. I can find y by substituting x equals to 121 into equation 1. I get 121 plus y is equal to 200. To solve for y, I get y is equal to 200 minus 121 and that gives me 79. Remember to check your answer in the context. Does it make sense? We are working with banknotes so we know that both answers must be whole numbers. We can't work with half a banknote or with a negative banknote. As you can see our answers do make sense and they are correct. Hey we're done. Ms. Gallagher has 121 50 rand notes and 79 20 rand notes. This afternoon, she'll be able to bank them. Mastering word problems will take a lot of practice. So make sure that you try the tasks for this section in the Equations and Inequalities task video. You'll also be able to learn more about equations on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.